Hey everybody, this is John. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on your Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. Now what you're going to need, a ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket. Uh, a short extension would be good, help you out. Um, uh, the uh, oil drain bolt goes back on with 30 foot pounds, so it would be good to have a, a torque wrench if you got one. Oil filter wrench, an oil filter. This one is PH3614. I'm going to change the air filter. This guy is a CA9683, uh, 10W30 for uh, uh, summer. This is a Mobile One synthetic. If you're going to change it for winter and you got cold temperature, it might be good to go with 5W30. The oil drains out of the filter. It's good to have a, uh, a piece of tubing like this for the drain. This is 5 sixteenths of an inch diameter. I just use a piece of old uh, a vacuum tube. So probably, you know, uh, maybe two or three feet long would be good. And you want to get yourself an oil drain pan and a piece of cardboard to lie on. So we're going to do the air filter first. It's just a uh, fastener here and here, and that's pretty much it. And the thing should just fold open. Take the hooks off like that. This is the old air filter right here. This is the new one. You should just go in just like the other one came. Just fits in like that. All right, that's done. So this is your oil filter, and at the bottom of the oil filter, so it's upside down, right? You're going to unscrew this guy, and all the oil is going to pour out into this little trap that's there. And there's a drain in the bottom of this guy that lets you drain the oil out. Hopefully not over your engine. You're going to take off this little rubber cap, and uh, then this hose is going to go on over the nipple, or the little spout that's on the bottom there. So all you do is just you connect on the hose on the little spout like that. And then you run this hose to the bottom of the engine bay, out through the bottom somewhere. So down in front of the truck, I just routed the hose through this hole in the splash guard. I'm just going to put a little cuff there like that. That'll catch the oil. Now we remove the oil filter. starting to drain into that little tub. There it goes. Now put the next guy on. Smear a little bit of oil on right here from the old oil filter or whatever. Now just as it starts to make contact, you want to put it on three quarters to one turn. So I just put a little black mark there to let me know when I'm around. And that's it, hand tight, three quarters of a turn, that's good enough. Under the truck you're going to find a black steel oil pan. Don't confuse it with the transmission, that's silver. So this guy is a uh, nut you want to loosen up. And then this guy comes out all the way. I'm going to get with the oil pan. Fuck, there's a mess now. Let that guy drain. wipe the clean. If you see here there's a copper, usually there's a copper gasket that goes on like a washer. Now this guy is stuck on the bottom of my oil pan. I'm not gonna fuck with it. I'm just gonna leave it there like that and put that bolt back in. Like that. Now we put the torque wrench on it and tighten it to 30 foot pounds. Like 
if you don't have a torque wrench, just tighten it reasonable, reasonable amount. But 30 foot pounds is not a little bit. Anyways, we're good there now. So now it's time to put the oil in. Bottles usually have uh, the spout on one end, not in the middle. There's a reason for that. So you can hold the bottle up like that and pour it without having to use a funnel. So don't pour it like that. Pour it like that. I mean, I got a funnel, so I'm just going to stick it in. So this is where your oil goes. Take the top off. Stick in your funnel. The instructions call for, or the owner's manual calls for, five and a half quarts, U.S. quarts. So that's probably about five liters in, uh, in metric. Um, I'm going to put in probably around five quarts, and then I'll let the, uh, then I'll uh, check it on the dipstick, make sure that the level's right. Now while you're waiting for the oil to drain, you can take that drain hose off and, uh, and put the cap back on. Passenger side of the engine is where you'll find the dipstick. It's this yellow thing. Of course you know where this is because you always check your oil when you get gas, right? Just like everybody. So, you stick this guy in. Now it'll probably be difficult to see this, even for me. because the oil comes on the dipstick, it looks like a bit of a smear, right? And from looking at the smear, I'd say I'm probably about in the middle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw that six quart oil in the truck. Next time I get gas, I'll check it when the oil is probably a little bit dirtier. And I'll just top it up then. So that's how you do that. I think uh, I paid was it $36 for the oil at Costco, six quarts. And uh, five dollars for the oil filter, so that cost me about forty bucks. And uh, I have no idea what it would cost to get that done at the dealer. But if you saved yourself forty bucks, that's forty bucks you can spend doing something that you want to do. Anyways, thanks for watching.